Fly boy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You've tuned in to the flyest sports game. and entertainment Same podcast in all the land. This Same is Stat face. Lines Matter. I am your Same host, Mark E. Stewart, here face. with my partner in crime, as always, Mr. Rob Hunter Jr. What's going on, Robbie What's Hunter? What's up? What's up? What's up, my all boy? All right. Well, we're here today with a very special uh, podcast for you. This is, um, we say sports and entertainment. Today is entertainment. Um, Rob and I, as you know, or as you may not know, uh, have a background in the entertainment business, uh, particularly in music. So we, in our normal conversations, a lot of times, and it's why you occasionally hear us talk about Prince or Michael Jackson or Stevie Wonder, that's a part of our normal dialogue. All and day long. All day long, all yeah. the time when we're talking. So what I've come up with here today is an idea of something that I think a lot of people talk about when they're trying to gauge music and film and things of that nature that are important to them. And so what we're going to talk about today is if you were trapped on a desert island and you could bring your computer with five games, five albums, and five movies with you to get you through the tough times. What would those be? So what we're going to do is work through that list. And because I'm judge, I'm a judgmental person. I'm going to judge his list and he's going to judge mine. <laughs> uh, we're going to, we're going to pick each other's lists apart, so to speak. Um, which category do you want to begin with? Do you want to start? Let's, in fact, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Music last, since that's most important. Let's go music last. No, let's go music first. Let's go music first, movies last, and we'll put sports in the middle. Okay. I mean, you know, it's all good. However you want to do it. You know? All right. Well, I appreciate you, you know, being uh, flexible. Yeah. I mean. Why you are you know, blinking? Some, is something in your eye? Hey, no, nah, because, you know. blinking for? Hey. Well, it just depending on which. That, but, I, but I can say the questions. So, it's all because I got questions on certain Oh, what you got? Ask your questions. Well, no, it'll come when we choose. I got certain questions on certain parts. So, oh, okay, you, yeah. you need further clarity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I need this well, we go, All right, we gonna start with music. All right, let's go on start so with the what music. What we'll do, the way we'll do it, is we'll alternate. All right. So we on the island. You get to pick your first album that's coming with you. I'm what just, you bringing? I'm gonna do it in no particular you order. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No order. Just five. All right. The first one is Me Against the World, Tupac. Gotta have it. It's my favorite Tupac album in the world. That's the one with uh, Temptation, um, So Many Tears, Dear Mama, uh, and uh, a, a myriad of other songs that I could name. Y'all probably don't. Is it a is it is it an uplifting? Very much so. Yeah, okay. Me Against the World is all about you know basically overcoming the struggle. Um, there's a couple of songs on there that uh, that aren't necessarily like. There's a song called um, yeah, what's it? Uh, Lord knows, which is not necessarily the uh, most uplifting song, but me against the world. It the title in itself is basically basically about overcoming um, the struggle. Dear Mama, of course, is about you know, and me growing up in a single parent family home. I identify with that record a lot. Um, Temptation, you know, is all about basically uh, uh, you know the courtship between a man and a woman, and the different each verse is kind of a different variation of that. Um, and uh yeah i mean you know so yeah that album in particular came out in 95 or 94 95 uh really uh was just, yeah it's my favorite album it's a more it's one it's probably his most introspective album so mm. i'm a rock with with that that's one that and it was hard to pick just one but that one in particular was the one that i rock with the hardest um yeah well let me let me say before um before i even get into my selections I am an R and B guy, and I make no apology. So all the hip hop people, before y'all start getting hit me in the comments, talking about where's all your rap records. I'm an R and B guy, so and I make no apologies for that. Work in R and B, grew up in R and B, love rap, love a lot of the rap records, ton of rap records, but not many, if any, are gonna make it on this list. Let me tell you, tell y'all that now. Um, so for me, the very first. Thing that so no Tupac on your list. There is no Pac. Did he come close to making it? No, he did not. You didn't think about no. Nope. Not you know. Nope. None of that. He literally all eyes on me. Literally never crossed my mind. That's hard. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. No. No. Hey, Pac, rest in peace. Yeah. Um. 
so when I've moved from different places across the country uh, through my career, there was always one record that I always made sure. It's different now because we got streaming. But when I started my career in the late 80s, moved to L.A., moved back to Atlanta, moved back to L.A., moved back to Atlanta, the one record that I always had to make sure whether I was driving or flying or however I was getting to where I was going, I had to have a shot at Greatest Hits. And so you could, you could wait a minute. Well, you could do a greatest hits. Yeah, that's it's that's an not, album. That's not that's not an album. Though. It is an album. What do you mean? It's not, it's not an album. It's not. It's great. It's not. It's greatest I mean, hits. I, it's a compilation. Is it not? On it's a, a compilation. Of, on like, one you can't You can't do that. But I, all right. I've done it. <laughs> I I've mean, done it actually right. several times. Yeah, you can't do that. That's I've not. Done a, it. Yeah, that's against the like. What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't be judged by you people. <laughs> talking about. I'm not gonna be judged by you. I'm not, this is my it's island. I'm greatest stuck. hits. You, gonna, you can't do it. I, Sade's I, greatest hits I, is definitely what's coming with Tupac's me. Tupac's greatest hits. Then. Okay, go ahead. All right, there we go. What the <laughs> hell? Okay, great. That covers. That's like three CDs. <laughs> All right, absolutely. Cool. All right, so yeah. So sorry for that. Yeah, Tupac's greatest hits. Well, you you want to change yours? Does he no. have it? Does he does he have a greatest hits? He's, yeah, of course. I mean, who else? They start with like, him. Does he have like a marketed greatest hits like that you know of? Not that I know of, but we'll do all the, oh, the essentials. <laughs> Every artist got yeah, essentials. I'm talking about <laughs> y'all know like it's her Sade's greatest hits is her biggest selling album. That's not an album. It it's is the greatest hits. She ain't had nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah, just the whole they, writing and they just producing put it of together. It. Like what are you no, talking about? No, she put about? it together. How dare you? Oh my, she curated it. She curated that. Artists pick their own greatest hits, bro. Most times, good whatever ones good ones do. So back to you. All right, I will not. I mean, down yeah, then, uh, I had Purple Rain, but Prince greatest hits. That's cool because I got Prince I mean, greatest hits too. Like that's like four CDs. Yeah, I got Prince greatest hits too. Right. So we good on that. <laughs> Music. Did you really that. have that? Well, I had Purple Rain, but then I got I got Prince greatest hits. All right, then I got Prince greatest hits. All right, that's what's up. So so that's my two. Now you go to your three. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I had like it's literally that's my two. Like, I had AT Aliens on here, but Outkast greatest hits. <laughs> okay, I mean, because sometimes you might like an individual album better than the greatest. No, hits. but if I got if I have to sacrifice like three or four records to get like four more records off another album, but that in I fairness, really like, that's not what I did. Like, because I'm looking at it from the standpoint of like I'm out here, I'm out here on this. So island. I don't need, I don't need like okay, because on my third one, I have Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. Janet has an amazing catalog, but Rhythm Nation is an amazing body of work. Mm-hmm. I want that whole work intact. I want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. The whole thing. All right. Um, I had so signed, third. I had Sign of the Times on here, but I covered that with uh, uh, Rhythm. Uh, not rhythm. But that Prince Greatest Hit don't have a lot of Sign of Times on it. Like that's a, the Prince. It's Greatest, a, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't it have doesn't. a lot of Times But it should. Time. But yeah. I, I have to but, sacrifice. But I debated. Because Sign of the Times was the one I was going to, like, I, if I was going to narrow it down to One Prince Project, because it was a double album, which is funny, it was a 16-song double album, which is like a regular album now. Was it 16? Yeah, 16 songs. Was, uh, it, 16 man, songs. eight on each one. Eight on each one. That's Sign of the Times. Yeah. but It felt that, like it was so much more. It did, because that was a lot of music, because back when we were, when, back in those days. He, that was his second double album. Cause the, uh, what was the other double, double the, album? Uh, the one with the... Uh, uh, the the one with uh, 1999 on it. I think the album name was 1999. It was a double album. It was a double album? Same amount of songs? I don't know. Because they had, you know, a Lady Cab Driver on there and all of those songs. Huh. International Lover. Which That's I used up. to listen to incessantly. And it's not really that great of a song. Your hair looks like an International Lover. Like when I look at your hair, I, <laughs> I, I know why you like that. Because you have international hair. Hey, well, I like, Curly. hey, you know what I'm saying? There was a one upon a time, I like international ladies. Yeah. Ladies, all the single ladies. Yesterday, well, this week was, well, I can't say it was this week because I don't know when this is going to air, but. What? We just experienced oh. International Women's Day. We did, huh? Yeah. Hey. Which to me means something different than I think it would have been for the women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so, so is it my turn? Rhythm Nation was my third. Okay. And. I had Sade uh, Love but, Deluxe, but I'm going to go with Sade Greatest Hits. Well, I, I'll say this too. Let me say this about, yeah, I said, no, listen, you, you, I, I Love Deluxe is a great record. Hey, Love Deluxe knocked me on my butt. Yeah, Love Deluxe is dope. Because my favorite song by Sade is Kiss of Life. Mine too. Um, yeah, I remember you saying yeah. that. Because uh, I think it's just a perfect song. Like, it's perfect. One of the things that I was trying to accomplish. That bass line, boom, boom. 
Yeah, nah, it's just that record just makes you feel good. If you listen to Kiss of Life, and like literally, you could play it in any weather, anytime. Yeah, if rain. you play if you play Kiss of Life and then you be mad afterwards, you just mad. You well, you go into hell, probably. Yeah, it's like just the mad, same. It's like my person. concept of like somebody to say I don't like Bob Marley. Like, yeah, like Bob Marley made like regardless of what he was saying, like because I'm not a get all in your lyrics guy, but that music just feels good. Well, it's like you don't have to like he don't have to be your guy. Yeah, but for you to say, well, I turn on right. Bob Marley, you go turn that. I don't like Bob Marley. <laughs> like, yeah, you're going to. You're, you're I've going never to, liked him. You're going to hell. Yeah, because I don't even have to know why you're going to hell. Yeah. I just know that that well, person that would say I don't like Bob Marley or. I think Stevie Wonder falls in that category too. Like yes. I don't like Stevie Wonder. Yeah, it said no one ever. Yeah, you're you're going to hell. Like and, you, and you skip judgment. You don't even get to go up to see yo, the Lord. You making, you me, you making me rethink. You making me rethink something because the one thing I say about Bob Marley, when you on an island, oh, yeah. <laughs> when you on an island, it's like the oh, music. The is legend, just, the Bob Marley legend album, which is the greatest hits album, yeah. is actually super incredible. No woman, no cry. Yeah. What? Like that, that man. I play that every. My wife knows I play because I don't play Bob Marley really ever until we get to an island. But it is just island music. It feels amazing. Yeah, but if you're stuck on the island, do you like? Are you? Is it going to be fun? Well, it, well, see, I'm trying to make because you fun. know you're leaving. No, but what? I'm trying to. But see, now I'm saying I'm like, when you're on vacation, you know you leave, so you can play it. But like when you're trying to, like you be stressed out. Like you want well, to be. What they, well, see, that's what my whole you list. Think your way off. My whole list for all of this is to not get into like anything that makes me feel constrained. I want to feel free. Okay. I want to feel upbeat, but I also want as much variety. So Sade is the only vibes that I got in because Sade is a vibe. What? And Total Marley vibe. is a vibe. Total vibe. But it's an island vibe. Yes. What I tried to do, what I, one of the reasons I chose Rhythm Nation it would be is because they did a show together. Rhythm Nation has so many different angles on it. You got a rock mm -hmm. record, you got pop record, mm -hmm. you got R and B records. You got so conscious records. You got, yeah, that's yeah. a conscious album, actually. It is a conscious album. Um it's for like, like the first four or five woke, songs. Woke woman album. Yeah, but then it goes in, but then it has a sex appeal to State it of in the, the work second day. In the second half of the album. You know, so a mother sells and those But that's why I did that. can eat and it's happening. But you know what's so crazy? That record was made in the 80s. And most of what she's talking about is still a problem. Yeah, yeah. Drugs and crime spitting on the street. Yeah. I mean, that no, that album is super fire. Come back to me. All of those records yeah. are incredible. Um, um what's your did you pick a third? I think I did went through everything. You, I think I went through eight Outcast Greatest Hits, two pop oh, okay. greatest hits. Uh at Thrill on now. I put <laughs> I put Michael Jackson's his story. <laughs> But knowing that I'm gonna what? skip like six tracks on there, well, I'm skipping. How many songs you listen to on History though? You gonna leave? Well, it's the greatest hits. No, History is uh, it's an album. Uh, but it's it's a greatest hits. It's Jam on there. It's the greatest hits. You gonna listen to Jam on the Island? Jam? Like, yeah. You don't be do Jam. Yeah. I love it that ain't record. too much Michael Jordan was in the video. He was in the video, but like I literally. It ain't too much for me to jam. I never listened. Jam, to jam. Here comes the man oh, out there. No, that was on Dangerous. That was on Dangerous. Yeah, that was on but Dangerous. History is a greatest hits record. So what's on there? It's like the best songs from. All right, then I'm gonna go with History. But it's like you got that weirdo <laughs> shit, Stranger in Moscow, and some of the other. Stranger ones. in Moscow was awesome. It was okay. It's I was hard on it before, but it's okay. How does it feel? Yeah, it's a vibe. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's not my favorite. When you're alone. But there's some songs that there's some skips on that history. Totally some skips. I mean, there's Michael had a lot of skips, and it hurts me to say. It's no, no, no. Michael didn't have no skips on the three quintessential. No, he didn't I, even no. have no skips on Dangerous. No, I'm talking about the later on the later yeah. his later work. He had a lot of skips, uh, which hurt my feelings because I was a every song Michael ever made was his great guy up until after up until Dangerous. That's the way I was. I like Dangerous album. I like Dangerous album I like too. Dangerous That's Dangerous what I'm saying. Album. Up until then, uh, you know, after that, I was just kind of like, like he did a song with Biggie Smalls, that was just, this just wasn't what's up. Yeah. You know, and hey, shout out to Dallas. I know you did the record. You know, it was all good, but you know, <laughs> man, like just wasn't my fave. <laughs> and so, and then my last one was Drake. Thank me later. Really love that. Record. Now I thought about okay, so I thought about putting Drake on there, but. I had, but like when I thought it was like albums, not greatest hits, AT Aliens just remind me of the crib. Right. So, you know, I just had to have something to remind me of home. So yeah. I, that's why I had that on there. Yeah, I picked Sade makes me feel amazing. I can't go on an island without Prince and Michael. If I could only go with one artist, but I could take their whole catalog, it would be Drake. 
I just I, see that's the thing. Like I'm like, man, if I'm on the island and I, never getting off, because Drake gives me so many different. He do, but he like, give you like all the vibe, like all of the like. Okay, I feel rapish. I think that was a thought process for me. I'm like, am I getting off or am I not getting? You're off? not. You're never leaving. We're stuck. You're stuck. I'm on my own island. You're on your own island. We stuck. Damn. Yeah, I, I just I I don't know. Like, cause Drake to me represents a party. Yes. And I'm trying to party. I'm be, I'm be like, man. <laughs> but now, so, I'm not saying you you we fucked up. Like I'm saying we got drinks. Oh yeah, we out here. Oh oh okay. Like, when you on the yeah, island yeah. with the people you care so about. I'm like it's like the it's like the Epstein Island, but except with all the crime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he had he had a big thing, you know what I'm saying? But without without all the crime and all the oh, just, illegal activity. Or, okay, nah, nah, not that. <laughs> oh, like but the, we're not. You're you're on the island. You're never getting what about off. The, the cocaine island, the one that used to land all no, the planes no, no, and stuff. No, no, no cocaine. No, no cocaine. No, and no underage girls. Nothing like that. That's what I'm saying. Without you all take the your crime. wife. They say the Epstein Island was fly. You take your <laughs> that's wife. That's why they was going. Take your well, wife. I mean, no, they, that's not why they were going. <laughs> Take your wife. <laughs> Y'all in a nice crib. Oh, our, our wives is with us? Yeah. Okay, this changes some things <laughs> on my on my uh movies. <laughs> <laughs> we coming to that last. <laughs> yeah. We, that we was one that. of my questions. Cause if I ain't got no, no woman. Like, like, like we we <laughs> on the island, but you're not. You, yeah. These are the only ones you can have, but you there, like, you know, there's plenty of... We're not destitute. No, we got... Nigga, I got cigars. <laughs> okay. I got, I got tequila, right. mezcal. Like, oh, man, this is okay. We enjoying ourselves. All right, so yeah, that changes yeah. some things. I thought I was by myself. Nah, we not just struggling today. Okay. You just not coming home. Well, because I was like, all right, if there's no women, can I get at the mermaids? Like, is nah, it like... Nah, you bring your one with you. Know you. Okay, so I can like, bring... Y'all, you can, y'all can dance, swim, all that stuff. Oh, okay, then. You know, yeah, then I, I need a little Drake. Yeah, I need take a little drink okay all right cool yeah all right cool so five games five games okay so this changes a little bit yeah. because i didn't know if i was gonna have a woman with me <laughs> okay how so. does this change how's it well i was gonna need some sex games i could download on the laptop no not games like oh. watching games like what do you mean watching? like replays of games like this is the only oh, spot you gonna was, have i thought it was like nah you got monopoly like, yeah i thought it was like yeah, man no nah, we don't care about no games we grown <laughs> five games okay i'm talking about we're, we run a sports podcast all right i'm talking about we watching no, five I games know. i was like well, well i need i'm gonna need so i looked up sex games on the like, all right that's a good one i'm gonna need to download that because i didn't know of any but apparently they do have some pretty good you know sex games so i was like i'm gonna need me at least two of those you know what i mean <laughs> But but games <laughs> games, okay. All right, so I can I can name oh, any so, sport. Okay, so I'll need the Rose Bowl uh, from four seasons ago with Georgia and um, Oklahoma, Georgia and Oklahoma, and won it overtime. I'll need uh, I I will need the uh, I'll need the national championship win. Uh, from like three days ago, yeah, from three days ago. I need that <laughs> from this year. So that's the only one that I had, you know, in my in my lifetime. Um, Any w- sport too. I want Jordan sixty three in the Garden. Um, eighty six. Gotta have that. Um, was so eighty five? That's, that's three. I think it was eighty five. Eighty five. Uh, that's three. No, it was eighty six because after the injury. Right. Yeah. Eighty six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's three. That's three. All right. You go ahead and get three. And I'm All right. Gonna... So I got. I, that, I had all type of different games. I, <laughs> pin the tail on the mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hide and freak it. No. <laughs> I got uh, Notre Dame at Oklahoma 2012. Wow. So we got two Oklahoma yeah. games on there where yeah. we came in, out on top. In Norman. Uh, okay. Uh, that was the year we went to the championship. Uh, number five against number eight. Night game, ABC. Big game for us. We won. And we won going away. Um, I have Notre Dame, Clemson, twenty twenty, and South. So Bend. you got ND up in this piece. Yeah, I was going. I go, got two Georgia games. I was going to go five ND because those are the ones I'd be rewatching. I don't really rewatch many other games other than Notre Dame games. Yeah, but uh, Notre Dame twenty twenty, uh, Clemson at home uh, was a big win. Okay, uh, that was a lot of fun. I would. I wish, and we had some. We had a. I think we were about fifty percent audience then. Okay. Um, it would have been dope if we had like all eighty or ninety thousand, and then I got game three of the playoffs. I think it was game. No, I'm sorry, it might have been game five. Uh, Derrick Rose three point shot against Cleveland. LeBron 
Uh, yeah, off the glass. Off the glass. Mm-hmm. I got that. 2015. So those are my three. My next two are Bears, 2006, Arizona. They were who yeah, we thought they that, were. Yeah, that's right. It's like all the defensive touchdowns. Yeah, the punt Matt return. Liner just can't stop. The punt return. Yeah. The defensive touchdowns. I think that's what started the only it. Hard, the only hard part about that was – I think Rex Grossman threw six interceptions that game. Yeah, I mean, he threw, yeah, I mean, and, and that's what. Yes, he did. Yeah, and our defense was so stout, and that's what that, drove Dennis Green. Yeah, no, it drove him to drove an early him grade. grade. <laughs> I want to say God that, bless but, the dead. Yeah, you might have, you might have drove him. <laughs> I totally because he still in his head was like, "How do you get five picks and lose a game?" Sure. He was scoring. Every it's way, like, but it's a the statistical, the 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 the, the, the probability uh, of a statistical anomaly. It is yeah. the quintessential. Okay, I got. Uh, now I have one more. But okay, I, I'll, I'll throw one in you there. Have a, you have a, you you know what my life. Well, I got Georgia, Florida, two thousand seven when we stormed the field. Stormed the field, yeah, that was hype. That was like, yeah. I, I I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's happening, and they just you know after <laughs> No Sean Marino went over the top. Yeah. They just came on the field and they just started the eight town stomping. Yeah. yeah, they took the pin. I was like, fifteen. I don't know what like because up until that point. I mean, you literally like you watch. Did y'all Georgia, win that game? Yeah, uh, obviously you. Yeah, won you watch the Georgia Florida game. You know, like this with like your eyes covered, peeking because yeah. particularly Urban Meyer, Steve, uh, Steve Spurrier, they just would manage to put up lots of points. Yeah, we just were never able to. But that year, uh, Matthew Stafford, No. Sean Marino, uh, Muhammad Masakwa. I mean, they just had a, a really great game. So that one. Yeah, my last game. As you can imagine, was the uh, Michael Jordan last game Utah game yeah, six ninety yeah. eight. Yeah, yeah, I was last with you shot. on that one. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Watch that. That was a. So those those are my five. All right, I think I think my last game would be uh, two thousand two, Georgia Auburn. So you got four Georgias. Yeah, I was with my dad. Okay. That game, and you we, was at the game. Yeah, yeah, we were there, and uh, we won on a. Uh, touched the fourth and 18 touchdown pass to Michael Jennings um, with like less than a minute to go. Mm. And uh, yeah, that was, that was a big one. My dad's passed on for those that don't know. So um, that's, I, a, I would, yeah, that's a good memory. I would love to. Yeah. So that's, that's, I, I you know, I've never seen a broadcast of that game and Veron played in that game. Oh, okay. So you, your memories of that game are like being in the, in the stadium in, 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 at Auburn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's dope. I've never been there for a game. I would, Love to go there for a game, yeah, man. Um, some of the, I mean, you know that they car carrying KKK, but some of the nicest fans in like that you ever. <laughs> but you know, you know that outside of that sports moment, like you, yeah. you know that they are all the way with. Like they won't trump 20, 24, 28, 32. You know, they, they want it all. But in the in that you know in that space in that arena, because I, I actually thought that as I was celebrating with Georgia fans, I was like. And I wasn't even as politically aware as I am now. I'm like, man, I know y'all don't really mess with me like that, but we hugging real tight right now. People I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. I mean, it was the last second touchdown pass, fourth and eighteen, and we just we just lost it. Like everyone just literally lost it. But the fans, I was I was really speaking more so about the fans of Auburn. The like the, the last second loss like that, and they were still just cool, gracious people. Yeah, I mean, the truth of the matter is that's been my experience, too, um, at games. I've been to Stillwater, Oklahoma for Oklahoma State, Texas game. Yeah, and you, he may tell a story later. He dressed in – y'all dressed in disguise. <laughs> Put on the well, the Oklahoma State garb. Well, we okay, let me give it context. We didn't have any team allegiance. We were – I always wanted to go there for a game. It was on my bucket list. I don't know why. Uh, T Boom Pickens. You don't have there. to explain your bucket list. But it was one of the places I your wanted to go. Your bucket list. So we set up a trip uh, to go there. So we thought it'd be prudent for a lot of the reasons that you said, like to not go into deep Oklahoma causing any extra attention to ourselves. So we stopped off. They come up missing. At a Walmart because we had a tour bus. So we got to Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, got a tour bus. It took us to Stillwater. We pulled up in a tour bus where everybody else had their RVs, parked, tailgated, met a bunch of people, nicest people you ever want to meet, all true. Um, but on the way, we stopped at a Walmart and we got like a, a Oklahoma State tent, chairs, shirts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You remember? Hey, you remember when? Uh, you remember? Like you remember when? You remember, you remember when Akeem and them? 
came to New York. Yeah, we let us dress as New York. Dress as New Yorkers. Yeah, yeah. Let us dress like we in Stillwater. <laughs> and so we had everything like the orange and the black, and 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 did that whole nine. And we went into the stadium. It was six of us, and we were all dressed in the thing. And so we didn't draw any extra attention to ourselves. Now, at the time, it was in the middle of an election, I believe, uh, when Obama was running against. McCain, I forget which which election if it was two thousand eight or two thousand. It was two thousand eight. Um, so whoever he was, so it was a McCain. It was McCain. That was his first. So those the signs were everywhere, like the McCain signs. So we were we knew where we was at. We was in, we was in. Real they got Republican it on the country. polos in Georgia. They had it on the McCain Palin. Yeah. So we were, we were definitely doing all of that, and uh, but the people were the nicest people. Like I'm saying all this to say, what we thought we was getting into. Now we played a no, it was a night game, but when it was over, we got on that bus though. And we we headed on back because we were going. So we left there and went to Dallas to watch the Bears play the Cowboys the next day. That's lit. Yeah. So yeah, we got on the bus lit. and got headed to Dallas, which I think was like like a night, eight hours, eight, eight nine hour drive. Yeah, that's mega lit. But yeah, and then I've been to two Florida Georgia games and tailgated with both. Like, here's what actually surprised me: Georgia and Florida fans do not hate each other. They tailgate together sometimes. They tailgate it with us, both Florida and Georgia people. If you go to the landing, the, I, I've you, been to the landing. You ain't see no fist fights. Uh uh-uh. uh Man, yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot of fist fights at the landing. The first time, the first game I went to, I stayed very close to that little area, mm-hmm. and the hotel was a little too popping for me. The Marriott, where'd you stay? Uh, they don't have I much. Can't well, I had to stay about this is a Ritz Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's boy. a Ritz Carlton golf resort that's about sure 25 is. minutes away. We found it. I found it. <laughs> oh, fine. I found where There's I was. There's a St. Regis I, I, about two hours I away. I found where I belong. <laughs> we, uh, about 25, 30 minutes. The first time I stayed in there and I woke up to people in the down at the bar because they stay at the bar. And sure. Even when the bar is closed, they be popping their own drinks sure. and they loud. Yes. And Gre- boisterous. Gregarious. And I was like, oh, I can't do this because I was concerned about the – yeah. The the turn up. Yeah, and it wasn't they, yeah, quite the opposite. It was a turn up, but in a good way. Yeah, I mean, they just partying together. And there's yeah. a lot of beer, you know, whatever. Yeah. So I went to the say, the Ritz Carlton where it was more cocktails. I'm more of a cocktail. There's more of a cocktail crowd, a little bit. But we came in and we, but I was surprised that we, we tailgated with both sets of fans and they 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 kick it they kick yeah it. yeah it can, it can definitely be like yeah like, it wasn't the like uh, tension yeah that i was anticipating well and i think i think for most of the uh sec fans particularly uh i'm you know the white fan they uh they look at it as a social event for the most part it's mm-hmm. not and they love their team they want them to win but not to the point where they're going to cause any bloodshed right uh, there's a, it's very it's a very you know social gathering and you know, a lot and sometimes of good family ribbing. allegiance is divided by teams. Yeah, yeah. You like, see house divided. One, yeah. So, you know, you don't see. But for me, like when we used to lose to Florida, like I, I hurt for 364 days until yeah. the game, you know, kicked off again. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah. So there, and I've been to LSU, Alabama in Baton Rouge. Same thing. Like now I didn't see a lot of interacting between those fan bases. But the people there were very nice. Yeah, yeah, you'll get that. Yeah, I mean, and then and then to be honest with you, they're waking up in the morning like this is going to be a great day. Like the yes. attitude approaching. Yeah, you know, they're already in a very jovial. But then I, there was a part of me that was like, maybe it's just because they're black athletes playing for free. Like if you you start passing <laughs> checks out, maybe everybody's a little tighter about it. Um, yeah. so okay, so that's that's the sports. <clears throat> so movies. So you got your computer. Your wife is there. I don't know how that changes your movies. Yeah, well, I I'm gonna had, let you. I'm gonna let you go. You do your thing. Well, that was my question because I'm like, I was gonna ask, do I have a woman with me or am I solo? You don't have a woman. You have Marie. I, I got, your I got lovely my woman. wife. Yeah, I just needed to There's know. Not a to woman. Have access to a woman. This is not. We're not creating our own <laughs> fantasies here. See? I got access yeah. to my woman, so yes. that's that's gonna change the movie selection a little bit. Okay. Because I had like three pornographics on there. Well, not. I'm okay. So. The question is, do I have access to Wi-Fi? Cause we got everything. Okay, so then I don't need any. We got cigars. So no, we got I, all I, don't need, I don't need to have any porn. We got a house then. manager. That's cool, because I can still get to my porn <laughs> like, websites. We're, like we're we're locked away on an island my way. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we got internet. We got okay. high speed. All right. So except then, for you can't watch nothing. Like these are the only things we can watch. 
I can, so I can, so then I can't. You can watch whatever you designate as your five things, but you just can't get on Netflix and shit. But I'm saying, can I go to my porn sites? You have to choose what seat. Like you got five choices. You want to make it all five. So then I need a movie. I need I need my pornographic movies. Oh, pick one. Okay. Or all pick right, five. Cool. It's up to you. All right. Cool. So then, yes. Yeah, so I, okay. So do they still make whole movies, or is it scenes? It's just scenes, right? Yeah, but I would I would go back and get a movie. So oh, you're gonna throw back? Well, I gotta I gotta I gotta have something that's like you know okay. So before, if there was no woman, it was probably gonna be like four pornographic films, but it'll be just two with okay <laughs> run them what, 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 what are we looking well it's just two just two movies because i ain't gonna say the names of the no, movies I, please say the names that's i think that's what everybody's waiting on <laughs> we were trying to know which ones make it since All you right, brought up okay the porn. okay okay rocco ravishes abiza <laughs> is is one of them hey if y'all ain't seen hey they fellas, we don't need no details crew. just go to the next if one. y'all ain't never seen rocco ravishes abiza no, Dude. like the fact nobody. Fantastic. They're not from the era. No, of you, the title. Oh no, hey! But if you put it in your site, whatever site y'all like, is uh, you gonna thank me? And y'all, and who you listening to this? DM me and tell me what you think. All right, okay. And uh, uh, Rocco ravishes Prague is the other one. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so those two. All right, <laughs> and then now, so that's all I need because I got my woman with me. Okay. Um, and the first movie is Coming to America, the first regular film. Oh, okay, nice family movie. <laughs> <laughs> after <laughs> after you got through ravishing two nations <laughs> <laughs> with your with your with your dick. I, I hey, I wish it was me as Rocco though. <laughs> Rocco did all the ravishing him and his homeboys. Um. <laughs> what, you got any other family selections? Well, I had, I had Life. Okay. I had Life on there, and I had Castaway on there. You just, can't do that. What? I mean, you can do it, but why would you want to be Castaway? Well, no, because look this, at was, that. No, well, this, like, was, this is before I thought that we had all the amenities. Yeah, we got mad amenities. Yeah, so we I got to take amenities. So I got to take Castaway because it was like Castaway was going to give me hope. Like, I could do this. You know what I mean? Like, I was going, this is going to be my motivation. Castaway, that, that would never happen like that. Well, of course not. But I didn't. You the one said Desert Island. We can finish. Yeah, but it's, it's dope though. Like it's it's, yeah, it's not so, inhabited. So Castaway got to go. So Castaway okay. got to go. That's yeah. not on there. Um, Titanic is on there though. <laughs> what? I like Titanic. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I, who I saw with our old uh, co co star Jason Weaver took me to see. Yeah, we yeah I remember that. Y'all <laughs> was in there Weaver. crying and shit. No, I was crying for like thirteen straight minutes. Uh, when when the boat went down, and she was holding on, he was trying to get Rose like he was in the water, and then Rose was on the little plank, the little wooden little thing floating. Yeah, the tears. The Thirteen minutes, I was crying like a baby in there. I was crying for a long time, up until that point. Jerry Maguire was the longest that I had cried because he said, "I'm looking for my wife." That made me tear up pretty good, but I was sobbing with the Titanic with Jason sitting next to me. <laughs> like and I remember I was cause I was cause I was like in a heap. I was <laughs> and, and and Jason turns to his left and he was like, Man, you all right? <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, I remember I never forget. I said, Man, yeah, this shit just good as hell. <laughs> and, no. and then you know, okay, so to continue, at least I'm consistent. After that, we went to the gentleman's club. <laughs> That's literally what we did. Well, you continued. Did you cry? Did you cry up there? No, I felt. I felt a lot. No, I didn't cry. I felt a lot better at the GC. <laughs> but that's really funny. But uh, that's that's. I don't know how many movies that I named just then. So that's well, five. Four or five. Okay. That's five. Well, Castaway don't count. Oh, but, but you replaced it, didn't you? Well, that's four, right? Because like, oh no, that's five. That's yeah, that's five. five. Coming, to said, life, life. coming to America Live. Coming to America Live. Uh, yeah. Now Titanic. I don't know. I, I would take if if that's my fifth one. My fifth one would be uh, Avatar. I've yet to see that. Well, I've I've seen it in bits. Yeah, my fifth one. If 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 I had to 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 to, because I really thought Avatar was. I, it was. It's not in my normal. I have a song in Avatar. That's not my normal type of. I, I don't like dip. ghouls and goblins and stuff. There's jumping no everywhere. ghouls or goblins in that movie. Well, I saw it, and it was much more deeper than that. Much yeah. excellent film. It was it, it reminded? Well, it just reminded me of same director. Yeah, uh, James, James Cameron. Cameron. It reminded it reminded me basically of you know basically the 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 the, the people on Pandora they call them people the inhabitants on Pandora mm-hmm. were the Indians essentially mm. and the land the unobtainium essentially was the gold and what 
basically the American did to the Indians, particularly the Trail of Tears, uh, trying to take the land, the unobtainium, essentially, which I mean, if that it couldn't be any more overt unobtainium, you know, yeah, uh, of a uh, analogy than that. And I just thought that he did a good job explaining basically to me what amounted to the story of America. That's how I took it. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. So my five, uh, in no particular order, uh, one film I just can't live without, and it's not particularly upbeat, um, but it's Godfather. I have to have it. I watched Godfather. Which one? One. Okay. First one. I watched Godfather probably five times a year, four or five times a year. That's a lot, boy. So yeah. you you know the dialogue. I could literally say the movie word for word. Okay. I've only seen that movie from beginning to end like three times. They actually were showing it at the movies the other day. And then they have an extended version. I have that too. Boy, you gonna have some time on your hands. Yeah. Not like sometimes I'll just put it on as I'm going to sleep and just Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let the words of Don Corleone just I watch it. It's one of those films where it's kinda like Shawshank Redemption where I gotta watch at least twelve minutes of it. Uh but just to sit down and watch it from beginning to end, I've probably only done like three or four times. Oh no, I've I've seen it beginning to end. Somewhere between 50 but I like two better though. Fifty and a hundred times. Yeah, I like I like two better. Two's good. Two's well, he really blew, good. He blew up Fre- Fredo in the lake after his mama died. I thought that was gangster. I don't know if it was more gangster than him shooting a cop though. In the uh, that was a great. It was scene. all gangster. Yeah, gangster. but that, but I'm saying which scene do you like better when he shot the cop? When because you know Michael was still he wasn't the cold hearted. He wasn't ingrained obviously into. He the was family. the coldest hearted mug. But you saw how yeah, nervous he was so nervous when he shot the cop. Remember, he forgot to drop the gun immediately. Then yeah. He dropped it. And you could see they did a good job showing that this wasn't what he normally does, but he was you know, being brave for the family. I think it was who it's, he was to the beginning. The and I think the, the what the director did when Mike was sort of plotting the plan and when they drove the camera into his face, when he was telling uh, Clemenza and Tessio and, and his brothers – what he felt like it was on. They were zooming in and you, you saw that transformation. There was a couple of those moments in that movie where he had the transformation. You, was it because they were plotting and then he volunteered, right? Well, Is that what happened? They're trying to figure out. Like, I'll do it. And then Sonny's like, what do you mean? No, you yeah. Know. It, well, they were trying to figure out like Sonny was trying to hit, uh, hit, um, they told, Sonny, they told Sonny's ass up. Yeah. They, they, he was trying to figure out. And then Michael was trying to tell him, you can't do it. He's too well protected. It'll full, it'll it'll start the full scale war, blah blah blah. And then that's when Mike popped in. Like Mike was like, "Yo, this is how we could do it." Okay. And then he's letting them know. But while he's doing that, you see the camera pushing in on his eyes, and it was like, it was like that's when he was going over. That's when the gangster shit. Was so you know that, like I know Rocky too. Yeah. No, like and that that was like th- there's that moment. And then there's the moment when he goes to the hospital and uh, they're about to come get him at the hospital with McCluskey. Or they're about, to, they're about to, shoot, to shoot his dad. That's and what I'm saying. McCluskey's yeah. about to come get his dad. Mm-hmm. And and then he gets his dad into the little, like, little look, this storage This is what we got to do. We got to do this. We yeah, and he that. tells the lady and yeah. tells the nurse and he goes, I'm with you now, Pop. I'm with you. Like basically saying, I didn't came over. I then came over to this shit. That is like, lit. Yeah. You made me want to rewatch it. You need to rewatch it. So that's one of the ones I'm taking with me. Just because I think there's so many like layers, and I work with my brothers, and you know, all of that. So there's a lot of sort of things that I like. Life. I, I was like, I gotta have, I gotta have Eddie Murphy, um, and that's the longest Eddie Murphy movie. So I wanted something that is it. I didn't know that. It's long. Life is long. Oh, life feels like it's an hour and thirty five. Nah, minutes. nah, because life got like life got like legitimate parts to it. Like life is like the whole like you know. It's so good. It was just like a short. It was but it's short like watch. it's before they went yeah. into jail. Which wasn't long. It wasn't long, yeah. but it's a legitimate piece. It's like 20 minutes. And yeah. then there's like, all right, we in jail, but we young. Like, we doing stuff. We in here. Yeah, we playing baseball. We playing baseball. Yeah. Like, you know, can't get right. You know. Yeah, we having conjugal visits. Yeah. Then then they get old. And then and then they get really old. And we not playing baseball. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to put the sheets on you. Put the sheets on you. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. You're plotting, nigga. Yeah. So there's that. I know that. you're playing. <laughs> I don't care what you believe. I don't care what you believe. Um, Are you looking at me? What? Why for I can't sit <laughs> uh, Pursuit of Happiness, I put on my list. Really? The, yeah. The Will okay. the Will Smith. All right. 
it's opt. It, there's optimism in that movie. It's it is overcoming it. It's an upbeat nature. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to that movie, um, and it's a true story. And he wins in the end. Yes, and I like that. And the black man never win in the end. Yeah. So, so black like man, that. black man, he won in the end with the bread. This one might surprise you. Uh, Social Network. Really, that yeah. does surprise me. It's a really good movie, though. A really good movie, and although Zuckerberg is. I ain't gonna really say because he could probably just shut my internet. Oh, he's down real in quick. our metaverse. Um, he in every verse. Yeah, he's all of us. He first, second verse, third verse, third, bridge. Yeah, all that metaverse. He got all the verses. Universe. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a I'm a walk light with this one. But the thing I love about the movie, it's about building something. You know, the the core of the movie is really about creating something and believing in something. And I believe in that. Hey, so I believe is DC in, Cab though. DC Cab is about building. Stuff. Yeah. I never like, saw it. Uh, you never saw DC Cam? No, because it's... Who, who saw it? I saw it. <laughs> DC Cam's about building something. You They're know, building it was, about, it was saving the cab uh, company, I think. That's what they was doing. I just remember the dude had the the, the, the naked lady in the, uh, in the, in the drop down in the, in the sun. That's how you remember it? Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did anybody get ravished in that movie? <laughs> Rocco wasn't in that one. He wasn't in that one. <laughs> um, Rocco was ra- Rocco is a ravisher. <laughs> hey, a, there's a Netflix documentary about Rocco. It's pretty solid. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, hey. hey. <laughs> um, and my last one, and I debated, I debated, and I would love to get, I, I actually take your input on this one. Okay. <laughs> I debated between Beverly Hills Cop and 1 and Beverly Hills Cop 2. Both of which are like two of my favorites. Mm. And in the perfect world, I'd have them both. Mm-hmm. But. It's the greatest hits. There's no greatest hits Beverly Hills Cop box set. Especially because they got to throw that piece of shit third one in there. Which was awful. Yeah, it was. Who was that directed by? It was directed John by John Landis. Landis. Yeah. Gosh, how did you mess that up? He should have just. But, you know, he got he had a beef with the first directors. Yeah. That he did. Um, but Beverly Hills Cop won. I really enjoyed with with Michael Tandino, but Michael Tandino is stupid. We've talked about that. He was he was kind of a dummy. Yeah. And I don't know why Mike. I don't know why Eddie was friends with him. Why Axel was friends with him. Um, well, we just we already said that would. Yeah. In real life. Yeah. Like in real life, you just don't be around a Michael Tandino. Yeah, particularly a, a a cop that was as cool and as smart as Eddie. Yeah. Uh, or Axel Foley. Yeah. Uh, would have never been. I, okay, so you're asking me. But then me? two. Okay. Two had just better moments. Uh, as a film, um, it I think it represented Southern California better, like the way LA looks, the way Beverly Hills looks. Uh, Johnny Wishbone, Johnny Wishbone, the the the, the alphabet crimes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. I like I like that movie the better. Playboy Mansion, Chris Rock, and Chris Rock. I get get ten ten dollars for cars, yeah. twenty dollars for limos. <laughs> what I'm supposed to do with this? Yeah. Um, that was the first time he was in a movie. And there you go. That was his first time. The second time, I believe, it was Boomerang. And there you go. Boning T. So I have two. Is there an argument to be made for one? Uh, well, uh, okay. So Victor Maitland. Vic, yeah, Victor Maitland. Um, yeah, Victor Maitland, uh, to me, better... Better villain, better, much better villain. Um, also, like the uh, the coffee scene, not not the coffee scene. The, the that's what led to the scene. So when they were in break, sure. Eddie, Eddie drank the coffee. The espresso. The espresso. No, I'm saying we well, was talking about these are super cops, and I don't know what you guys oh, say, yeah. these guys. So behind that, Eddie drank some coffee during the break. Eddie doesn't drink at all. He doesn't drink alcohol, and he doesn't drink coffee. Eddie drinks coffee. Well, now he does, but he back does. then yeah. he didn't. And and all that was an ad lib. Oh, okay. All that was an ad lib, and it was like Eddie was just buzzing at that moment because he he was on the coffee. So, yeah, I gotcha. So the so okay, I, I, okay. If I had to, I like Beverly Hills Cop two better because Eddie was just cooler. Right. In that movie, he had the Ferrari, and you know, when I'm undercover and deep, I ain't gonna ask for no more money, and um, and I I just liked how it began with the Ferrari scene and yeah I like I saw it, it looked flyer it was flyer it, 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 it was it was yes and so I, I but uh, you know the Beverly Hills Cop one was the it's like the 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 coming of age of a star you know? right 
Um, and it had obviously the special moments and you, th- you threw, you know, the, the, uh, I might as well call it, was it Michael, Michael Jackson <laughs> sitting on, on top, top of the, of the world, world, but as long as he don't come into the, the Beverly Palm Hotel, because they don't allow no niggas in there. Yeah. That was awesome. Uh, um, which is, so, I mean, and then he, he brings the Nova to the, <laughs> to the club, the Herald Club. He was like, Hey man, he been parked this somewhere. Cause all this happened the last time there. I was here. Like that, that's classic. And and you brought you brought out a great point too. You brought out a great point is that that was a coming of age because as much as I loved Forty Eight Hours and Trading Places, I understood even at that time that Eddie was playing a Eddie was playing the classic fish out of water tale, and it was sort of based in some both movies were based in some racial tropes. You know that, that was I originally were, originally for Sylvester Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. He said it wasn't enough explosions in there. Yeah. But both of those, they, they were based in some racial tropes that were cool in the early 80s that didn't sort of, um, they didn't age well. Right. And although there's still a little bit of that in Beverly Hills Cop 1, it was Eddie being able to like get into who we knew Eddie to become, like a real superstar. Whereas the other two was like, it was rough around the edges, straight off of Saturday Night Live, Eddie. And don't get me wrong, for a lot of his fans... Those are the two movies that set it off, but like, and then you know what was cool about two though was that it showed. I, I don't know if this was intentional, but it really put his intellect on display in a cool way because he was the one solving all the letters, right? And he and you know he would solve it. He would solve it, and then you know because they couldn't figure it out, and then Lutz know, would Lutz would take, take credit, credit for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it kind it showed that. Okay, even though I may be this slick, fast talking, yeah, uh, you know, got all the cool quips, but he also was solving the crime. Yeah. Whereas in the first one, it wasn't like that. No, not at all. So I'm gonna go with two. I'm gonna stick with two. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna stick with tough, two, man. But yeah, I, I, because it was more important that I bring life. I'll just go with one just to be different. All right. Well, I'm gonna, since just it's me, be, I'm gonna put yeah. that one on the computer. But, but, I don't have anybody ravishing anybody uh, in mind. No one. I don't think anybody gets ravished. Um, like they did in Ibiza and Prague. Hey. In your movie. Hey. <laughs> we, hey, look at here. I'm on the island. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, hey, you got to have a little variety. No, clearly. And you have it. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> so we have, we have our thing. I have mine. That's pretty much the vibe for this show. Uh, we'll do others like this where we talk about the things in social, I mean, in, um, in, uh, in pop culture that mean something to us. Obviously these films and there's more, I have many more that I would take if the list was expanded. I'm sure you do too. Yeah, um, Rocco ravishes. <laughs> Decatur. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rocco ravishes making <laughs> money, making, making that'd be something <laughs> that would be, that'd be something that would be super something. <laughs> I cannot work here. There's no talent. <laughs> and there's that. So, well, listen, I'm a, I'm gonna close this out. Um, Your for this name very... is Lakeisha. I don't know this one. <laughs> so why is it Lakeisha? Does he really talk like that? He's Italian. Okay. Yeah. Anything else that, that people need to know about Rocco? You want to share? No, I was just you know he's a legend. That's all. <laughs> Porn legend, Rocco. He ravishes <laughs> the ravisher. Um. You know, you know, I learned about Rocco. You want to know fun fact? Probably somebody I'm related to. Your, your brother. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, I'm not surprised at all. On that note, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, like I always tell you, if you want to follow us, check in the at Stat Lines Matter across all of our social media platforms, and you can find the audio version of this podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And of course, subscribe, like, and get the notifications on our YouTube. You get you get wonderful movie recommendations. <laughs> Shout out to Trick. Shout out to Trick. Um, <laughs> well, listen. Without further ado, unless you got something else you want to add, it. that's it. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> I am Mark Stewart. This I, is Rob Hunter Jr. Yeah, and this is a special. Porn edition of Statlines Matter. Peace. Peace. Bad boy. I ain't come for games. Say it to my face. Say it to my. Say it to my face. I ain't come for games. Say it to my face. Say it to my.
say it to my face. 